So in this video, I'll be showing you how easy it is to get into your smart suit and smart gloves, as well as showing you some tips to get the best possible performance from your gear. So this kind of outfit is typically what I'll wear when I'm wearing my suit, but you can absolutely put your suit over regular plain clothes, and you can also use the suit with shoes. It doesn't really matter. I just find this more comfortable. I'll take the suit off of its hanger, and now let's start the clock. I'll usually put on both legs first. Sometimes I'll be sitting while I do this. After that, I'll put on my foot straps. Then I'll get my arms through the sleeves. And zip up. There we go, I'm in my suit. The last thing to do is put on the head sensor, which is just attached to this headband. This suit I'm working with is a medium smart suit pro 2 that is glove ready. Before I put on my gloves, I'm just going to roll up the ends of my sleeves. I'll show you this in detail in just a moment. After my gloves are on and connected, I will get my battery out of the front pocket, which is where I normally keep it. Then I'll fish around for my USB cable, which is also in that pocket. After I'm plugged in, we'll see that my gloves go green, which is a good sign. I'll do some final adjustments, and there we go. Our suit and gloves pop up in Rococo Studio. We can assign them to an actor profile. And then I will do a calibration straight pose. And it's as easy as that. In about two minutes, I can put my suit on, including my gloves, get connected to my computer, and start making mocap. Let's record a little take here. In this space, I was actually using my cell phone's mobile hotspot as the Wi-Fi network. And you can see we're still getting incredible performance. Let's take a closer look at what I did with my sleeves in order to put on my smart gloves. So here I have my suit on, and you can see that I have my thumb threaded through the end of the sleeve. If we're going to be using smart gloves, I'm actually going to remove my thumb, and then I'm going to roll my sleeve back up twice. You can see that I push my forearm sensor a little bit higher up on my forearm. I usually keep it about three quarters of the way up my forearm. There we go, now I've made some space for my smart glove, and I'll put on my smart glove. And by rolling up my sleeve, you can see that my suit and my glove are not really fighting for space on my arm anymore. We would recommend doing this process even if you're using a non-glove ready version of the suit that has a sensor at the end of the sleeve. Now I just have a few final tips on how to get your suit fitted correctly. So the first time you put on your suit, the straps will not be tightened, but you'll want to go ahead and tighten those up so that the sensors do not move around. You can see that there are straps all over the suit, on the calves, thighs, hips, torso, shoulders, upper arm, and forearm. I generally leave these at the tightness that I use all the time, even when my suit is off, and that way I don't have to adjust the straps every time I put on my suit. It is fairly important to have these straps be tight, because you do not want the sensors moving around while you create your mocap. Also, if you don't like the wires for the smart gloves sticking out, you can just tuck them back into your suit, and that way you have a nice clean profile and you won't get caught on anything while you're moving around. 
Finally, you can see that here I have my garment bag. Again, this thing is a lifesaver when you're taking your suit on the road. And that's it for how to get into your SmartSuit Pro 2 and your Smart Gloves. Again, this is the same process for a SmartSuit Pro 1 or a non-glove ready version of the suit. And in the next video, we'll actually hop into Rococo Studio and I'll show you some of the essential cleanup filters and how to record some mocap.